Hi, I'm back again. Today I'm going to discuss about the GIMP image editing and image manipulation. Specifically, cutting an image and paste it on the other image. Now, I will as if make a story using image as representation, then combining those images from two different sources. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is to import an image. I will click File, then click Open. Okay, that movement will gonna let us choose from the list of the files that was saved in our computer. So I have list of file here. I will choose boy to that JPEG. Okay, I will import this one. The objective of choosing this one is for me to choose the standing boy then paste it on the other image. Where is the other image? I will again import it by clicking file then click open. The second image will be a girl. That JPEG open. As you can see from the upper portion of our game, there are two projects that is visible. We have the first one, the girl stand, uh, the boy rather, the boy standing, and we have the girl sitting. I have to combine these two by cutting the boy, then paste it on the location of the girl. Okay, now I'm going to return on the first image. The first thing that I'm going to do is I have to right click from the layer portion then I will add alpha channel okay the reason I add alpha channel is in order for me to refine the edge to make it more visible okay to make it more realistic once you refine the edge with the use of the feather Therefore, I had already an alpha channel. Well, obviously the image, the standing boy image, is very small. So in order to make it more visible, I just have to click Control, then the mouse wheel to zoom in. Zoom in, then zoom out. Okay, zooming in, with the use of a free select tool, I will choose the man standing. Okay. I will start it at the bottom part. I will click this one. The indicator that you are already starting is there is a yellow dot. Okay, then I will as if tracing the image. Okay, there are two stroke. You can rather release the left click. Okay, then click it again, the left click or rather do not release the left click just drag the mouse you are as if having a drawing using your pencil okay I am already at the middle portion I am not releasing the left click mouse so I'm just dragging our mouse here, going up. There you go. I'm just tracing it around the image. Okay. Okay, I did zoom in this one because it's it's very small. I can't see the edge. Okay, tracing this one. Okay, going down. Since this one is straight line, I just have to release the mouse. Then I'm going to click again the mouse. As you can see, I am already at the lower part of the image. So I am almost done. I'm still tracing it. So I still need to put it to drag it up. There's a little portion here. There. Now. Now we have to rejoin the starting line here. 
so once you rejoin this one there is a yellow dot line that will pop out then release the mouse then there you go okay the two li the two line was already joined zooming out this one to make it smaller okay as you can see you cannot be able to identify if you've chosen or we've traced a perfect edge so that's the use of an add output channel okay the next thing that i'm going to do was okay i'm going to remove the background okay to make it to make the edge more visible by doing that one i have to click select then i'm gonna click invert after clicking the invert i will click edit i will remove the background and i will click clear okay as you can see eh, the background is already gone now now to make the edge at least more realistic i have to make it refine okay how do i do that that is through clicking um select then i have to click feather by clicking feather i can choose number here okay i can vary the number here according to the uh, according to the edge that i want it so maybe i can try uh, a five let me see the five five i think it's not enough i can still choose i can still make it higher than or rather i can make it 15 or 20 okay let me see zoom in uh, okay I think 20 is enough already mm -hmm. though it's not perfect for at least it is closer then I can just click delete it means that the outside portion of the selected area will be deleted okay as you can see eh, if i'm going to zoom this in okay it is more realistic compared before okay now i'm going to get this now and transfer into another image but before that one i have to return it into the original inversion that is through clicking select then click invert there's the invert there you go okay now zoom out then cutting this one right click then edit cut okay then i'm going to transfer it here on our next image right click then edit you don't have to paste it directly because we still need to resize this one so you're supposed to paste as new layer as you can see we have there so my purpose here is the boy will as if a ghost because the girl is lonely because the boy is already gone okay in order to resize this one i just have to click I just have to use the tool which is the scale tool okay then dragging this one to make it bigger okay I think this one is enough already okay then I can transfer now this image by through clicking the move tool then I just have to transfer it here okay 
Okay. Then I want this one facing to the left. By doing this one facing to the left, I just have to click the flip tool, which was under the transform tool, then clicking this flip. Then I have to click the image here. Okay, it flipped here to the left. So as you can see now, uh, they are already uh, joined, but definitely they are not as one project. In order to do that one, we need to merge the two layers by clicking this one, right click, then merge the visible layer. Okay, then click merge. Okay, it can consider to be as one photo already. Okay, I think we're done. I think that's all for the cut and paste image. As you can see, you can revise the story of the original photo through manipulating images from different sources.